today we have to study the impacts of jets regarding some introduction impacts of jets the liquid under pressure come out of a nozzle fitted with a pipe is a form of jet that is here you, are, you can see a pipe this pipe is provided with a nozzle and uh, through this one that is like in the case of pen strokes so through this the water will flow like this manner and due to this conversion portion there should be the pressure will be increased here and uh, that high pressure uh, water will form like a jet if some plate which may be fixed or moving is placed in the path of jet a force is accepted by the jet on the plate okay for example here it is a stationary plane and as it is stationary the jet will come hit on that plane and it will turn and go like this manner if some plate which may be fixed or moving is placed in the path of jet a force is accepted by the jet on the plane the force acting by the jet on the plate is found by Newton's second law of motion or from inverse momentum equation. That is, force is equal to change in momentum. Okay. Similarly, force is equal to mass into acceleration. Now we can study the force accepted by the jet on a stationary plate. So it's our parameters are V is the velocity of jet, B is the diameter of the jet, A, area of cross section of the jet. That is pi by 4 into d square, where d is the diameter of that jet and the jet after striking the plate will move along the plate here the plate is held at right angles to the direction of jet so this is the uh, direction of jet and the plate is held 90 degree with this direction of jet and the component of velocity of jet in the direction of jet after impact is zero and here you see here we are having the V. V is the velocity of the jet. It will hit on the plane. And after that, the jet will, after hitting, the jet will move like this manner. Okay. So here we are having the initial velocity. And after impacting, the jet will lose its velocity at this position. On going on this plane, it will lose its velocity. So final velocity will be zero. Okay. Component of velocity jet in the direction jet after impact is zero. So force accepted by jet on the plate in the direction of jet is equal to initial momentum minus final momentum divided by time. M into V1 minus M into V2 divided by time. And the mass by time will be the mass flow rate. Okay. So that into V1 minus V2. So mass flow rate will be rho A V that into V minus. Zero, zero will be the final velocity. That is the force exerted by the jet on the uh, stationary plate is rho a v square. Rho a v square. This one is force exerted by the jet on a stationary inclined flat plate. So we are having this is the pipe and this is the uh, nozzle held in an inclined way. Here the plate is held in an inclined way. So let theta be, theta be the angle between this jet as well as this jet as well as this plate. Okay. Already we discussed, already we discussed a impact on a stationary plate which is held vertically. And if you observe this inclined plate, if you observe this inclined plate, and if you turn this jet to this direction, that is along this direction you can see that this is just like impact on stationary plate which is held vertically okay that is why we have to take a component here so here it is theta therefore here it is 90 minus theta okay so uh, we have to take the direction cosines and uh, and this is and then at that time we can see that this is the direction of the and it will hit on the plate and it will move this manner in the force will be that is fn will be mass of jet striking per second mass of jet striking per second into 
initial velocity of jet before striking in the direction of n minus final velocity where n is the normal final velocity of jet after striking in the direction of n therefore we are having that rho a v rho a v is the mass flow rate that into and the component of velocity in normal is the v sin theta that is v cos 90 minus theta which is v sin theta to take this one this is theta this will be 90 minus theta this is theta this will be 90 minus theta okay then we are taking along this direction along this direction that is why it will be v cos 90 minus theta then it is v sin theta that is why rho a v into v sin theta rho a v into v sin theta that is the initial velocity minus final velocity will be zero that is why it is rho a v square sin theta rho a v square sin theta so that is the fn is equal to rho a v square sin theta if you are taking the component of that in the direction of rows then it will be fn cos 90 minus theta that is fn sin theta that is this force is force is having the components both the horizontal and vertical that is why the horizontal component of force fn cos 90 minus theta that is fn into sin theta already we studied fn is equal to rho a v square sin theta that into this sin theta that is rho a v square sin square theta and regarding the component that is in the y direction that is f is a component uh, component of fn perpendicular to flow that is fn sin 90 minus theta that is fn sin 90 minus theta is the cos theta that is rho a v square sin theta cos theta in a manner you see simply so we are having the initial direction here in order to simplify the problem we took the direction is along this direction if this is theta and this will be 90 minus theta according to that we found out what is the expression for fn what is the expression for fn and this fn is having this component this is along horizontal direction and another along vertical direction next one is force exerted by a jet force exerted by a jet on a stationary you have to say force exerted by a jet on a stationary curved plate at its center so this is the stationary plate stationary curved plate this is the stationary curved plate these symbols indicate these are stationary okay and we are having this is the pipe and this is the uh, this is the nozzle this the water from the nozzle will come like a jet and it, it will hit on plate and after hitting it will deflect like this manner it will hit like this manner okay if the plate is very smooth it will come tangentially this direction without any loss okay and uh, along this direction that is tangentially it will come like this manner if it is v and here also without any loss along this tangential direction it will be v okay and uh, uh, while so initial velocity v and the final components are v cos theta along the direction of jet and v sin theta along the vertical direction okay according to that we have to find out the expression for the force okay so the velocity uh, at the outlet can be resolved into two components in the direction of jet and uh, one is horizontal and the other is perpendicular in the direction of jet and the component of velocity in the direction of jet is v cos theta okay? this is the direction of jet and after impacting this will go like this manner and this is the horizontal component this is the vertical component in the horizontal direction so this is the direction positive they will be negative that you that is why uh, this v cos theta will be minus v cos theta that is the component in the direction of perpendicular to the jet will be v sin theta okay so we are having uh, fx is equal to rho a v that is the mass flow rate that into that into v that is the initial velocity so we are having 
and this is o a v so we are o a v we are having the initial velocity v minus okay o a v into v minus minus v cos theta that is o a v square into uh, this uh, this v we took it in uh, outside so v o a v square into 1 plus cos theta that is the component of force along horizontal direction and along the vertical direction f is equal to o a v into we are having the component of velocity in the y direction initially minus component of velocity along the vertical direction so o a v into along y direction we don't have any along y direction along y direction initially we don't have any component okay that is why o a v into O a v into zero minus v sin theta. That is minus O a v square sin theta. So this also very simple. The negative sign indicates that the force is acting in the indicates that the force is acting in the reverse direction or in the downward direction. In this case, the angle of deflection of jet will be 180 minus theta, and this will be useful while you are dealing with the some solution of some problems okay next one is jet strikes the plate at one end tangentially it is symmetrical when the plate is symmetrical so up to this time we studied that the jet is the, the jet will come at the center of the plate and deflect and here the jet is also placed tangentially with the covered plate and the covered plate is uh, held stationary okay so the jet will impact jet will hit tangentially on this plate in order to find out the expression for the forces uh, we have to take the component so if this is v and here it is angle theta then this will be v cos theta this will be v sin theta okay in order to understand clearly i uh, draw once again that is why this is v cos theta this is v sin theta and in the other direction that is in the outlet we are having this is v cos theta this is v sin theta this is the horizontal component this is the vertical component okay as it is symmetrical this is in the theta will be here, here the angle is theta here also angle will be theta okay so fx is equal to o a v into v cos theta minus minus v cos theta that is v cos theta plus v cos theta that is o a v square cos theta plus cos theta that is 2 cos theta here that is 2 o a v square cos theta and regarding the vertical component f i is equal to o a v into v sin theta minus v sin theta okay see we are having the vertical component v sin theta and here are the vertical component v sin theta so v sin theta minus v sin theta that is y v square uh, into zero therefore the component of velocity in the vertical direction is zero next one is just strike the just strike the curved plate at one end tangentially when the plate is unsymmetrical so when the curved plate that is see the plate is held as symmetrical suppose the uh, plate is unsymmetrical so, so it will be held like this manner at that time the angle here is not similar like the angle here so in the angle of attack in the inlet will be different and the angle and the outlet will be different okay according to that this will be v cos theta and here will be v or some phi may be here. Okay. So when the curved plate is unsymmetrical about x axis, then angle made by the tangent is drawn at the inlet and outlet tip of the plate with the x axis will be different. So inlet will be theta and the outlet will be phi. Okay. 